All right, so this one, craft paper covering, covering a bulletin board. Okay, the board is 11 feet wide and seven feet tall, so I see that they already set that up for me. And this must be what the craft paper roll looks like. So it's one yard, and I can see it's one yard wide. Okay, and they said it's yellow, so. <laughs> okay, so when they roll it out, they said they can cut it so any way, but you have to think that it's one yard wide. Now, I think the biggest key, and I did put this on the hint, is to know that one yard, I see that this is in yards, which is a customary measurement, meaning that United States of America is one of the only people that uses this type of measurement. Um, and this is in feet. So I, it kind of actually reminds me of, um, of finding common denominators. Like you can't, it's not easy to do yards and feet together. If I could just make yards into feet, it would be easier. So I know that one yard just so happens to be the same as three feet. And knowing that is a lot easier because now I can go ahead and say, okay, one way I can roll out the paper is to say, all right, I can lay it out into sections of three feet. So if I did three feet here, right? Three, six, nine. Now, the only thing is this would go to a little bit over. So it would go to 12. So I would need, um, so to do, Always be one yard wide. Draw and label on the bulletin board pictures to show two different ways. So if they did that, they would need to take one foot because this is only 11 feet wide. And if I do three of them, I get three, six, nine, and I go a little bit over. So what they would need to do is they would need to cut one foot off of right here at the end, okay? And then they said they can roll it as far down as they want to cut. So no problem, okay? But they would need to cut, like I said, one foot off. So cut one foot off. And what they would have to do is, um, yeah, so they would have to do, they can roll it out one, two, one time here, two, three, four times and, and cut one foot off, okay? The next way is to hold it, so this was holding it um, vertically, it's called, okay, vertically is up and down. This would be a kind of like columns, okay? Th another way to do it is to hold it into rows, okay? So this, if I did it going out this way, so if I did three feet here, now I've got three feet, six feet, and I need seven. So I need, I would do another three, right? So three, six, nine, but I only needed one of those. So I would have to cut off, cut two feet off, okay? Because those extra two feet are gonna run along the side here. So I'm gonna have to cut off two feet. So minus two feet, okay? And those would just run a, a, along, so three, six, and I would only want one more foot here, okay? So that is, you see that, three, six, and then you would need just one more foot there. Um, so which of the two ways ab above wastes less paper? Okay, well, if you think about it, no matter what, you're kind of using the same paper, right? Um, as far as what you're actually going to put on the board is the same, right? No matter what, seven times 11, no matter what, your area is 77 feet squared. However, depending on how you, how you talk about it, this way you would only have to cut one foot off, but then again, you use one, two, three, four rollouts. This way, you cut off two feet, but you only use one, two rollouts. So I would say, like, when I make bulletin boards in school, I don't like a lot of these lines. You don't like a lot of, you don't want a lot of creases. So if I was doing it in school, this would be the best way. 
because this way they are only going to have a crease here, which is a crease means where the paper, um, one roll and the other roll kind of overlap and a crease here. Okay, whereas this one you can see more creases. So the this way would be the um, the better option as far as a bulletin board is concerned. Okay. Um, the other thing, one more thing I want to mention before I close out the video, because I want you to be able to. I know this challenge I didn't fully answer it, and since this is a review, oops, sorry, because this is a review video, I want to make sure I do. If you used this, okay. If you used the, this option right here, okay, so let's just talk about option A down here. If you used option A, you used one yard, or sorry, three feet, so you used three, six, nine, 12. So really you used 12 feet by seven feet, right? So, you, cause you had to use 12, even though this asked only for 11, you had to use 12 by 7. So 12 times 7, okay, 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60, 72, and 84. So it's 84. So 84 feet squared is what you used for A. For B, let's see what you used. You used 3, 6, 9. So you used 9 feet, and it was 11 feet long. So this 9 by 11 is 99 feet squared is what you actually had to use. So I will say, it's kind of tricky this answer because this I said was the best in terms of, I think it looks the best because of the creases. However, this does say which waste less paper and this 84 is less. And so because that's the less, this actually uses um, obviously, because it's less, it uses the least amount of paper. So as far as saving paper, this one is the best. As far as looking better I, and having less creases, this one is the best. And people have to make these kind of decisions in the real world. Like, oh, I don't have that much paper, so I might just have to do this one. Or, hmm, you know what? I want it to look really good because it's going to be on my bulletin board all year. So you might choose the one that takes a little bit more. So it's kind of a real world situation. Um, that we use uh, math for.